To update your firmware and software with Robot C, first thing you need to do is just launch the program. It will let you know if you need a software update. Right here, the computer I'm using needs a software update. It look, looks like it's looking for 4.55. You can look also in the upper right hand corner of the screen. It will show you the latest version. Um, this particular one says September 1st, 2016, 4.55. That's the one that we're going to put on now. I've hit the download button. It's going through the process here. Um, this might take a little while, so we'll speed the video up here at this point. But it's going to go through the process for you. It's going to go through, you know, two, three, four, five minutes, whatever it takes to put the new software on. At this point it's finished. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go up and we're going to look to see if we need a firmware update. So I'm sliding down here under robot. I'm going to go to download firmware and I'm going to select automatic update of VEX Cortex. The Cortex is a little box that all the devices plug into your inputs and outputs. So here the window pops up. It says it'll automatically update everything. I'm going to need a USB A to A cable, which is the orange one. I'm going to plug that into the USB on the Cortex and the USB on the computer. And it's going to start to go through a firmware update. I've got a little video down here at the bottom showing the Cortex and the lights that are going on with it. Um, notice the red light and then the green light near the VexNet and Robot. They're going to flash back and forth. It says here the firmware is successful. So we're going to click OK. And then we're going to notice that our Cortex, it's going to start flashing red and having a green flashing light at the bottom. That's how I know that the firmware is properly installed on the Cortex.